In a recent video, a viewer commented that he was going to have his cabin air filter changed on his car to the tune of about $75. Now, a cabin air filter is pretty straightforward and cheap. This one here costs about $30 to $40 aftermarket from Advance Auto, for example. And much like an engine air filter, depending on your vehicle, these parts are also very easy to change. Here's how to do it on a 2019 Crosstrek. In the Crosstrek, the cabin air filter is behind the glove box. You don't even need to take the contents of the glove box out. Just basically open it up, and you've got this little armature here that prevents it from falling down. Pinch that in and slide this off. Now the glove box is still going to be held in place by these little plastic tabs on each side. The glove box will flex, so you simply press in on each side and pivot the whole thing down. As you pivot down, you're going to hit a point where you can simply pull the glove box right out and set it on the floor. Behind the glove box, you can see this little air management duct here, and this is where your cabin air filter lives. Now what's great is, on this car, you don't even need any tools to get this job done. These two little tabs here, you're going to pinch and basically pull out, and then this door is going to drop down. This is all that's holding that cabin air filter in place. Then grab the cabin air filter and pull it on out. Now, unlike the engine air filter on my wife's Outback, this thing is nasty. You can see all the leaves and debris and crud sitting in between the filter veins. And you can see how it compares to the color of a new one. It's supposed to look like this, not like that. Now, a lot of times these things are made pretty idiot proof. You can see here that this one even specifies what direction is up. So, placing this thing with the right direction up, you can simply push that in and secure it in place. You can then take this door again, put those tabs back in, and pinch the cover back in place. Then we simply reverse the order from taking the glove box out and tip, pivot it down, slide it into those hooks, tilt it up. You could squeeze these if you want to, but really you can just go ahead and press them in. They'll conform, and now it's locked back in place. The little arm that we took off before, you might have to grab it and pull it back down, but then just slip it back over its tab. Close the glove box, and you're done. It can't hurt to start up the car once you're done, turn on the air to make sure the air is flowing freely and you don't hear any weird noises coming from that unit that you just messed with. If you're like me, a cabin air filter is one of those things that's easy to forget about and neglect. So if you've never changed yours, or you're a smoker, or your car just simply smells like ass when you run the air, consider changing your cabin air filter. While normally easy to replace, I have had vehicles like my 06 Ford F-150 where the cabin air filter was a bear. I literally had to cut around the plastic in order to get the dang thing out and make it serviceable. But many cars are as simple as what you just saw. So if you don't own a 2019 Crosstrek and this particular video wasn't applicable to you, fear not. There are a bunch of great YouTube videos out there that can probably show you how to do it on your vehicle. So there you have it. Yet another piece of automotive maintenance that any Joe Schmo or Jane Doe could do to save themselves some money. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante saying keep on tinkering, keep on learning, and spread the knowledge if you got it. Have a good one.